okay so first of all let's configure wireless LAN controller even though in initial video we already configure wireless LAN controller because we are starting a wireless section so it's better to reconfigure wireless LAN controller from scratch so as we know wireless LAN controller basically manage wireless network access points okay so it's like a device just like a switch and router from where you can push uh, configuration you can push detail you can push ssids and so many other things from centralized location uh, rather than to configure each and every access point separately stand alone so it's better it's like an active directory from where you can manage many system from centralized location you can push the policy and etc same as wireless lane controller so you can manage you can configure access point from centralized location so for this purpose we are using wireless lan controller basically you can use wireless lan controller through graphical user interface and also you can use cli just like a switch cli is also similar like a router and switches so this is wireless LAN controller and this one is access point but there are a few things which you need to know in wireless LAN controller one is virtual gateway IP address so when we configure wireless LAN controller it will ask virtual gateway IP address so basically in wireless LAN controller virtual interface either virtual or gateway is used for mobility management it's include like a DHCP relay, guest web authentication, VPN termination and so many other feature. So for this purpose we are using virtual gateway IP address either we call them virtual interface. So basically we use this virtual gateway IP address either virtual interface to communicate between wireless LAN controller and wireless client. So you can assign IP address to this virtual interface. Second thing is management interface. As the name suggests management interface is we use to manage the wireless LAN controller to access the wireless LAN controller graphically. And then we can do configuration and wireless LAN controller graphically through browser so for this purpose you are using management interface third thing is service port interface basically in wireless LAN controller service port interface is used for out of band management there is one in band management and second is out of band management suppose if a management workstation is in remote subnet it may be required IPv for route to control this wireless LAN controller and for so other purpose we are using service port interface so it's basically out of bed management interface last thing is mobility and RF group mobility and RF group allow multiple wireless controller to be clustered into one logical controller it's like uh, you know when you combine like in firewalls when we combine more than one firewall in ha in a cluster so the same you can use mobility and rf group to cluster many wireless controller and make them logically one and for roaming wireless client we also use this one so this is called mobility and rf group now coming to the configuration but before show you the configuration we need wireless LAN controller so let me go to uh, wireless LAN controller so we have virtual wireless LAN controller and Eve NG so let me take this wireless LAN controller no need to change anything and just say save and let me bring this wireless LAN controller to my topology even though it was here but just to show you from scratch and let me connect to my management switch on interface 1 slash 0 through management port okay so I connect them through management port 
and let me start this wireless LAN controller and what I can do let me say edit style and let me make them a flowchart because it was like this before but just to show you again so that's why I grab a new one in front of you to configure from scratch so when the uh, wireless LAN controller start first thing first it say would you like to terminate auto install so there is auto install feature so if you say yes because you want to terminate yes then it will ask you the system name for wireless LAN controller so we will assign WLC then the uh, administrative username so we will put admin and password we will type ABC at the rate one two three four five which we use in our lab then this the interface which asking service interface IP address I believe we discussed this one service uh, interface IP so we will say a static and you can assign any IP random any IP address so we assign one 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 then it will ask management this one is important for us because we are connected through management to access the network so we will assign the IP address which we already decide 192.168.100.240 so we will assign this IP then the subnet mask then the default route we have we already know this is our default route 254 which is configured here in this switch we will assign that gateway then I will say management interface VLAN we are not using so management port number so we are using port number 1 and the DHCP server IP is 192.168.100.254 okay management interface DHCP server IP address by the way our DHCP server is this one is 230 by the way it's not 254 so we will assign 230 here okay then virtual gateway IP address again we discuss virtual IP address above here somewhere yeah this one so we're gonna assign anything uh, right now we will type 222 anything and this the mobility and RF group which we discuss so I will assign anything so I say mobility okay and then the uh, first SSID you can assign anything we will create SSID later on but you can type here as well and then they say configure DHCP bridging mode so we are not using wireless, wireless LAN controller in bridging mode so we will say no because no is in upper case it means it's selected by default you can press enter here allow static IP address so yes is by default because it's in upper case and then configure radius so right now we are not using radius we will do but bit later this one is important which we face the issue the country code so by default is, is US because I am in Saudi Arab so I need to type SA because otherwise it will not accept my access point which we will configure access point in this wireless LAN controller a bit later in next video so keep in mind the type the country which you are so for my case in my case I will type a uh, Saudi Arabia which is SA otherwise it will give me an error and later on you can change but just to tell you because I face this issue and then these are the wireless uh, different uh, things so you can enable uh, 802.11b network a and g these are the different thing you need to go through my uh, wireless uh, detail you will find and then enable r to rf so we will say yes configure ntp server even though i say no but we have ntp server in our environment this is our ntp so I will type NTP and also system time we will use the default one and IPv6 we don't need and then it will ask you all these details are correct so say yes and that's it then we will log in first time but the graphical user interface will not work why because you need to enable this one web mode and secure web mode if you want to access them through HTTPS this one will enable uh, HTTP and then save to save the setting then you can uh, access the wireless LAN controller uh, graphically so let's go to uh, click on wireless LAN controller okay and let's see enter and here it's asking a system name so wireless LAN controller then say administrative username so we say admin 
then enable admin password yes a b c at the rate one two three four five then a b c at the rate one two three four five okay then service interface ip address configuration so i believe uh, we say static yeah so you need to type static and enter then service interface ip address we say we can assign anything so in this case i type 111 so let me assign 11 11 11 11 because 111 is now a dhcp server so we don't want to uh, confuse and then submit mask 255.0.0 enter then management ip this is important for us so we assign 192.168.100.240 and from our range our management range this one 240 and submit mask 255.255.255.0 then default route we already know 192.168.100.254 then we don't need this one management port 1 and then management DHCP server so our DHCP server is this one 100.230 this is our dcp server then virtual gateway ip address we say we will assign anything so in this case 222 uh here the group name so we will say mobility and then a network name ssid first ssid so i will say a test one suppose and dcp group uh, bridging group mode so we say no because no is already and then allow static yes and then configure radius so type no and here which i say so you can type help or list of the country but i would say sa saudi arab and enable yes yes is already an uppercase so just enter enter and enter and enter now configure ntp so our ntp is 192 168.100.230 this is our ntp server and configure ntp server now so invalid response i would say yeah sorry i need to type yes and then i need to type the ip address so 192.168.100.230 this is our ntp ip and then enter pulling interval in second so 3600 anything you can type between and would you like to configure ipv6 so we will say no and configuration is correct if yes system will save it and reset so type yes you need to type a yes okay and it will take some time and it will uh, restart the wireless lane controller keep in mind this is virtual wireless lane controller which we are using and the model you can check from here i i forgot to mention you this the model which i am using 8.7102 virtual wireless lane controller 8.7 you can use the latest one as well there is a latest one as well but it's okay it uh, we can do our job with this one okay so it's a restart it will save the configuration but as i told you after restart when we log in we uh, we can check our detail by show interface summary command by the way and we can ping our gateway we can ping ntp we can check by ping command okay and then we need to enable the web mode and secure uh, web mode to enable http this the first thing you need to do to access wireless lane controller graphically so i'm just wait uh, waiting just to uh, restart wireless lan controller and then we will enable http and https to access graphically so let's see uh, it will take a uh, yes come up now so admin let me enter and password we set a b c at the rate one two three four five okay and from here you can check by show interface summary so this is the management ip we are connected through management this is the service port which i told you and this is the virtual ip okay next thing we need to configure a network and web mode so there is a web mode okay so web mode and then it's enable or disable enable it another command enable network secure 
web enable it will enable https and last thing to save the setting okay and then we can exit from here i believe it's save here yeah. okay and let me try now to access this graphically so 192 168 100.240 okay so if everything is okay by the way you can ping from here as well if you want to check something that gateway is reachable 254 yeah so it's received three and i can ping the ntp one okay so i believe it's also reachable so it has to be 240 yeah it's come up now so wireless LAN controller you can click login and login is the same username and password one two three four sorry i mistype admin and then a b c at the rate one two three four five and here is wireless LAN controller okay so it will show you that wireless network we configure one okay and these are the active client and rogue ap and client and interfaces uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigs anyway uh, we need to click on advanced to go to the configuration section and here is wireless LAN controller by the way i mentioned here all these menu i don't want to go through you can check from here what is monitor tab and wireless LAN tab controller tab wireless tab security tab management tab and command tab these are few tab monitor this one wireless LAN controller wireless security management command help and feedback and there is save configuration ping and logout and refresh and you can go to home page again okay so these are few things and we install wireless LAN controller it was so easy to install